I doubt that there must be That's really not if you keep it to yourself. New here, are ya? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Is that a threat? On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. Why not? How much ore were you thinking of? Not much. Ten ore, that's all I need. I don't have tin ore. Then I'll take whatever you have. That's okay. You can give me the rest next time I see you. Let me see. Oh, I take small donations too. It's the thought that counts. Thanks for the ore, kid. From now on, I'll be watching out for you whenever you're in the camp. See ya. Don't you worry about anything here in the camp. We'll be looking out for you. May I pass through here? May I pass through here? I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the Sleeper will lead us to freedom. How do I get to the Brotherhood's camp? I'm busy, but Baal Parvez should be somewhere in this camp as well. He's near the marketplace, on the other side of the castle. I believe he's even got his own hut there. Tell me about the Sleeper's teachings. The Sleeper is a powerful being, maybe even more powerful than Enos, the god of light. He is with us in spirit, but his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years, but now the moment of his awakening is near. 
He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the Sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the Sleeper is compassionate and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. How does your God prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. What will the way to freedom look like? We are preparing a great invocation of the sleeper, in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? I want to meet somebody there. Do you? Who? And why don't you just wait until he comes out? He's one of the magicians. Oh, well they never leave the castle. You really will have to get in. What do you want from them anyway? Magic runes? Or potions? That's right. I knew it. What else would a guy like you want with the mages? I can give you some good advice. Forget the mages. They take far too much ore for their stuff. Magic runes and potions are much cheaper in our camp. Hey man, new here? I haven't seen you before. I'll join you for a while, if you don't mind. I'm sure you'll need a friend. Get lost. You're not in a good mood today, are you? I better come with you. Tell me, where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? <laughs> I like surprises. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. How can I improve my lockpicking skills? I can't teach you anything, because you're so inexperienced. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find them at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. 
In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Depends. If you demonstrate that you've learned something as a thief, we could make use of you. How am I supposed to do that? Learn a thief's skill. You need to become more skilled in sneaking around, pickpocketing or opening locks. Then you'll have my vote. Hey, you! If you want to get rid of your protection money, you've picked the wrong day. Yeah? Why's that? Because I'm not here! Oh? Where are you then? I'm actually at the castle, sitting by the big campfire, drinking a mug of beer. Then how come I'm talking to you? Nick's vanished. This district is usually his responsibility. And until he reappears, Thoris has ordered me to guard it. Why don't you just collect some more protection money? Nick did his rounds before he disappeared. There's not much left to collect now. Do you know where Nick's got to? No, and I'm not likely to find out. If anything, the diggers in this district might know something, but diggers don't talk to guards. Especially not now they know I hate this filthy work. I bet they're laughing behind my back. Let me pass. Hello. Hmm, I haven't seen you before. You're new here, aren't you? Just recently arrived. Have you already decided which camp you want to join? No, what do you think? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. What are the advantages of the old camp? If you pay protection money to the guards, you can have a laid-back life here. They always interfere if one of the paying diggers is attacked. Besides, you can only get the goods from the outside world cheap here. These things are unaffordable in the other camps. And what if two people fight each other who both pay protection money? Then the guards just watch until one of them kills the other. Then they do him in. What goods are considered precious here? Everything from the outside world. Bread, cheese, and bacon, and above all, beer and wine. Not the cheap rice schnapps from the new camp, but really good stuff. You always get a good price for weapons, and armor is really expensive. The guards took the old armor off the prison guards after they killed them. You can always recognize them by their armor. They only sell it to other guards. You could never get hold of one as an outsider. I think I've heard enough about the old camp. I like it here. What are the advantages of the new camp? If you're cool about getting your throat cut for a slice of bread, you should go there. No, it's not that bad, but it's different from here. Here, Gomez takes care that things are sort of peaceful. In the new camp, there is no law. The only ones powerful enough to have a say there are the water mages, but they're too busy studying the barrier all day. Why should I join the sect? Well, you'd better ask somebody from the sect camp. There are always a couple of novices in the camp, and I'm sure they can tell you a lot about the sect. I've never been there myself, but according to everything that's said, they must be really generous. None of the three camps seems to be as much in need of new people as the sect camp. Which of the huts can I take for myself? The hut over there with the little canopy is empty.
Don't pay attention to me. I'll stay with you. Don't worry. It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something, and don't get on my nerves. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red-hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I could sell them to you. I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. I'd like to try... Ah! But don't you... But however... Hey you! Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? You've been lucky there. You've been lucky there. You were hey. asking for it. Make your. You've been lucky there. Maybe, but who can I? I'm not involved. Some people never learn. Hey, you! Who? Me? No, your grandmother. Who else could I mean? I wouldn't go down that way if I were you. Why not? You can't have been here long. 
Man, that's the way to the orc land. They'll make mincemeat out of you. Oh, you're welcome. You! I don't think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. Ah, new face. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here, and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just ten ore, man. It ain't much to ask. What if I don't pay? Hey, man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around. Collect a bit of ore, and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime, but don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. I doubt that's ever people always. It was obvious you gotta watch what you tell people. Probably right. There was a time. People always talk. You're very probably right. I thought that it was clear.
Hey, you! Clever boy. What can you teach me? Eh, that depends on what you want to know. How can I improve my lockpicking skills? You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? It's not too difficult to begin with. Above all, you have to make sure that your lockpick doesn't break off. If you're a little bit more patient in future, you'll see that you won't need that many lockpicks anymore. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Yes. You've learned something which makes you quite useful to us. We can make use of skilled thieves in this camp here. You'll have my vote. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. Don't get confused by their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. There's mushrooms growing there. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back.
People always. That won't. Uh, I'd better keep out. Be something about that story after all. I thought that had been cleared like up ages ago. Show. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Why does that happen over and over again? Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. Show me your goods. Choose something. There must be something about that story. Yeah. You're very probably right. But keep it to yourself. You won't spew it every time. Hang on. If you think. Very probably right. Maybe. As long as I'm out, better keep out of it. Totally idiot. You have a problem. Really? What's that? There are people around here who want to get rid of you. Really? Then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish. What makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because I think you're smarter than that boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We too need capable people in the new camp. And nobody tells you what to do. That don't matter so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me more about the new camp. It's the camp where you have the most freedom within the colony. We don't have any ore barons or gurus bossing us around. We have our own mind, but the ore that is produced there isn't given to the damn king. So what is it used for? Our magicians are working on a plan to break out of here. All the ore is collected for this plan. While Gomez and his people are lazing around, we drudge for freedom. That's what's going on. And if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He's the head of our gang. But if you prefer to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. 